Hi friends, this is Jennifer from Decor Sauce, and the following video on how to remove your carpeting is a small clip from a video that I posted on how to remove your carpet and install a vinyl plank flooring as well as transform the space behind me from an unused living room dining room area into a fun cool bar area. So in order to see the full tutorial of the flooring and how I transformed this space, please visit my YouTube channel at Decor Sauce. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So the carpet in my house is already old and loose. So if you're lucky and your carpet is also old and loose, it should be really easy to remove the carpet. So I'm gonna sh just show you how I do it. There's no really exact science to it, or at least maybe there is, but I don't get paid the big bucks to do it. So um, I'm just gonna show you how I removed carpet um, in the past and how I'm gonna do it again. And here we go. Now you're gonna to wanna to be careful because there's a tack strip here and it does have nails and tacks in it so you can be careful that you don't get hurt, including this one over here on the edge. So once you remove all the carpeting and the pad, then um, you'll take a crowbar and a hammer to remove the tack strip. And I would recommend using ear protection for this process because um, it can get really loud when you're banging into a tack strip with a hammer. So once you get all your tack strips removed out of the floor with your crowbar and your hammer, um, the next thing is you're going to prep your floor for whatever treatment you're going to do to it. Um, for this floor, I'm actually going to lay a um, vinyl floating floor in here and I'm going to be doing that myself. Um, so the only thing I really have to do is make sure that I get all of the um, nail heads out. Um, so I already went around the room and removed any little nail heads that were still stuck in the concrete uh, with the crowbar again. And then vacuum really good and then use a tool like this. It's a floor a handheld um, scraper with um, disposable blades and you're gonna use this to scrape any bits of uh, glue or sponge that's left over on the floor from the carpet that you removed um, underneath. And uh, if you're going to do a painted floor or something like that, it's a different, it's a whole different animal because you're gonna wanna need, you're gonna need to remove all of the, the actual glue residue with a, um, like an alcohol solution. So um, that's what I, not what I'm gonna do here. I'm just going to use the hand scraper to get all the little bits up and um, any um, rough pieces of paint or um, plaster or anything that was on the concrete floor from the builders when they built the house. 